What's up, y'all? It's E21. Um, for the past two, three years, I've been racking my brain trying to figure out new ways of chopping. New ways of taking samples and manipulating them and doing different things with them to make them sound different. You know, we always try to push the boundaries of sampling and chopping. So, I was racking my brain, racking my brain, trying to, all right, what can I do differently? What can I do differently? So, one day I was sitting behind my machine and I was I had a dope sample up and I was like, all right, I don't want to chop it in quarter notes. I don't want to chop it in eighth notes. I don't want to chop it on the hi-hat and I don't want to chop it on the bass line. And I don't want to take elements. I wanted to do something different. So when I was thinking of that, I was like, all right, I'm going to time stretch it or not time stretch it. I'm going to beat sync it. So I don't want because I didn't want to pitch it up to have that chipmunk sound. I'm going to beat sync it and then resample it and then chop it that way. So the MV has a trick up its sleeve. If you see right here, that's a note. But when you beat sync it, it changes the BP BPMs of the note of your sample. So I was like, all right, word. So when I did that, I took a sample. So I took a sample. I was like, word, that's a dope sample. So, but I was like, what can I do differently with it? So I synced it. And the MV has it, like I said, has a trick up his sleeve where you can change your note. So when I did that, I changed it to, if you can see, it'll change, it'll change, it'll change. So when I did that, it came up to this. Not that, not bad. sampled it and then I chopped those and then with me chopping those brought me to this so I'm gonna play the, the original sample is this did the beat sync came to this and now my beat is this